All right, here we are at the We Miss the Exit uh, basketball game show here that we're doing. It's the NBA King of the Tag, Your It. And this is this game where we have this trophy that gets passed from person to person to person based on what teams they have and if they win or not. And, and we're just going to try to see if we can get through this thing without, without screwing it up. So, Evan, keep it rolling. All right. All right, here's a quick thing. I added a couple more. I added a couple more things. Hold on, hold on. I, I was... Hold on, hold on. Yep, I had a couple more things. Take a take a second to look at it real quick. I'll explain this. So this is pretty much a rundown of Brent, myself, uh, Kurt's not here. We have uh, Ball Brian on the bottom. We have Mustache Evan up on the top right there. And pretty much this is giving us the teams that are that each of us have and uh, their wins and losses. So here we go. I put that compared to last week just to show you how many losses or wins you've gained or lost. And right now. Evan is killing it right now. Like he's the only one that's in the positive. He, he's, he's the only one with the green ticker on the stock market right now. He's positive seven. I'm doing the worst after this week. What do you guys think? Uh, I believe in the Celtics. That's what I'll tell you. Uh, yeah. How Celtics many wins are those? Crushing it. Hold on. How we'll, many of those seven were Celtics wins? We'll, we'll take a look at that. Ones. We'll take a look at that in the next slide. Oh yeah, Evan. Uh, Evan is now. Evan's like taken over by like a long shot. Like it's it's it, it's gonna keep going. I think for a while. So and if uh, here's my question at the bottom. Who do you think is going to catch Kurt first? Like, I think it's going to be between you, Brian, and Evan. I think I'm out. Yeah, we're not too far off. We're only two games away. I mean, you get a team that gets hot like that, and you just start racking them up, you know? Yeah, but look at Evan. Evan's the closest, and he's 13 wins behind Kurt. Like, that, he, Kurt, like, took right off. Yeah, but we're, what, 15, 16 games into the season? Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I'm not too worried about that at this moment it's gonna it's definitely gonna close the gap eventually because the teams are gonna start yeah. finding their actual records you know some teams are hot that you know no one would see like jazz <laughs> and the blazers i mean yeah good players but no one saw them you know being in you know over 500 no his, his bottom two teams again are still helping to carry him uh you know exactly. with the bucks too and then yeah the bucks i mean they're doing just as well as the celtics but they just they had the trophy for what a game it was like maybe? yeah i think like two games all right, let's keep it rolling. All right, so here's a quick recap. Evan's got it, what, the last seven days so far with Boston. Uh, how, how much longer do you think it's going to go? Uh, we got we got the how schedule much? on the next one. You don't think so? All right, how so here's longer? so here, here's the next game that we have. We have a big matchup tonight. We have uh, Mustache Evan going against Bald Brian here. Uh, and I tried to put a couple other dis different statistics on there just to give us a better preview of what's going to happen. So I put the injuries on the right side. And I think we have quite a few injuries on the Celtics, but the Pelicans are losing their top player with Zion. What do you guys think? I still think the Celtics are going to take it. I mean, they they have just a cohesion. I mean, Robert Williams, it's uh, all right. He's gone for the season. I think they're going to be all right without him for the season. Marcus Smart's going to be the only one. He'll just be limited, if anything, if he even plays. Is he even playing? Uh, he's out tonight. Out, out. Yeah. Uh. I mean, yeah, he's the assist leader, but Tatum's the real catalyst to this team. So, I well, he, he, all right. here's the thing: you lose, you lose Tatum. You have Jalen Brown. You lose Jalen Brown. You still have other players. Like, like their backcourt is going to be just fine. You have Derek White. I think they're going to be just fine. I don't see. Sorry, Brian. I don't know if I see the Pelicans pulling this one off. They are at home, though. They are at home. I like the home team advantage. I like the fact that the Celtics have won a lot of games and they're kind of due for a loss. And that's okay. <laughs> and you're rooting for the Pelicans. Well, look at the matchup predictor. Like, if you were to ask me, what would the what would the pred uh, prediction be for the percentage or whatever? I would have said Boston had like a seventy percent chance of winning tonight. So I don't know whoever the odds makers are. You know, ESPN analytics they have it a little bit closer than I thought it was going to be. I mean, you, you got to rely on other players too. I mean, Zion was out all last year, and they still. I mean, they didn't have a great team, but they they can still pull some together. Ingram, well, Ingram, McCollum, and Valanciunas. That's that's a solid three right there. Yeah. Uh, so I could see this being right where the predictor has it. You know, fifty percent, fifty-seven percent for Boston. You know, they have the majority, but they're you know it's going to be a good game, is what that is indicating to me. All right. So predicting. Or it's very close. It is. It is. So Brian, you're you're picking your Pelicans. Evan, what are you picking? Of course, I'm going with Celtics. They're just going to keep rolling. Question. Without a doubt. Uh, Without a doubt, they're just going to keep rolling. I think you just wanted to say picking the Pelicans. Picking your Pelicans. <laughs> you're, you're picking your Pelicans. All right. Yeah, all right. I, I, think, I think Boston's going to win it. All right, so if they're not going to lose tonight, where are they going to lose next? 
We have we have they're up against the Pelicans tonight. We have Chicago the next, Dallas, Sacramento, Washington, Charlotte, and then double up on Miami. I'm personally hoping that they might lose to Miami. That's the that's personally what I want. Um, because my obviously my you, you Miami, also have my Miami. Other, my other team, yeah, for sure. You, you know so what? That's where I want them to lose. But I see them losing to Dallas. Uh, Chicago, they could, they could, see, I could see that being a loss too. But I think Dallas is going to be the loss. You know, I, I go ahead, Brian. I obviously as I say Chicago, and that's all I'll say. <laughs> that's all you'll say. <laughs> well, here's the thing: like they they lose to Sacramento, that's Evan. They lose to Washington. That's Evan. They lose to Charlotte. That's Evan. Like, like this is it's it's Brian, Kurt, or, or sorry, Brian, Brian, Kurt, Evan, 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 Evan. It's it's like you if you get through these first this first week or whatever the next we three games. Win, Come on, Here's what'll be annoying. It's like who will the Celtics lose it to? Like that'll be annoying because like let's say they lose it to Sacramento. Who the hell knows who Sacramento's gonna be playing in the next few weeks or whatever? So that's gonna throw everything off. It also changes conferences too, so that oh man, yep. it, it would be all out of whack at that moment. Exactly, but it, you're asking me serious. I think it's gonna be one of those Miami games that they lose. Yeah, I really? think it's gonna well, be one of those. I really think the Celtics are gonna go on like a crazy win streak right now. I think I think they are. Yes, I, I think Tatum, Brown, uh, Horford. That defense is just way too good. I, I, th- I think they're a really good team. Understandable. Understandable. All right. I, I'm all in favor of that. I'm I'm gonna be the biggest Celtics fan for the next. Few years. <laughs> oh, as a as a as a Knicks fan, that hurts. All right. Yes. Uh, so I think the next few sides are gonna be our ESPN league, and I added a couple more things to this. So go ahead. I'm excited to see this. All right. So here's here's uh, on the top is our current matchup, like who we're going against. Evan and I are Yoba Goya up on top, and Evan, and Brian is down at the bottom, uh, down by the bay. Uh, oh boy. All right, go ahead, Evan. <laughs> Back to my home. All right, we're not doing this again. Oh, come on. <laughs> all right, all right, fine. Uh, if you look at this, we're, 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 I think we're going to win this one. We're going to win this one here, Evan. Brian's going to lose this week, but Brian is also about to lose to the number one team in our league. So, uh, I don't, I don't know how much stock I'm going to put into Brian losing this one. You don't think I'm... Close in points, assists, and steals. <laughs> down, At down, I'm down. One category off. You're down 70 in points. You're not getting that. You're down in blocks by 17. You're not getting that. Steals, you're not getting. Assists, you're not getting. Rebounds, you're not getting. <laughs> you might get one day, and I have three spots that I'm thinking I'm going to make moves. All right, all right, all right. You're going to work that, that IR spot, those, those free agent pickups. DeMar DeRozan all of a sudden blocks 20 people. <laughs> yeah, De- DeRozan. <laughs> I'm just excited that our records might be tied. I, I think they're pretty close, and I'm, I'm actually kind of digging it a little bit. I mean, look at us. Evan, we might we might go 8-0 this week. Look at this. Look at what we have going. We're cl- we're no, two away in steals. My picks were questionable, man. I, I, you know. I say if anything, they were on point. Here we go. That was one thing I was going to suggest, and we do a show where we break down how bad some of my decisions were compared to yours. <laughs> <laughs> whole separate show. Yeah, whole separate show. Whole other show on top of this. Yeah. Because the whole premise is you look at all this. You look at all this. Ads, you look at all, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah sure. Player, I love him. Let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm smart. Best player in the world. Like him. Mike, it. Mike is Mark is smart because I love his name. And then who is the other guy? Dort, because he has an awesome name too. <laughs> <laughs> Owl was an awesome name. That was a good pick. That was a, uh, so so was uh, uh, Finney, Finney Smith. Yeah. yeah I, I <laughs> dropped him. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> All right. Oh, hold on. All right, so so hold on. The reason I put this here, I put on the wrong slide. I have our two teams here. Get this. We're playing each other next week. So, Evan, go to the next oh, slide. This is All right, so... Oh, so so I, I I mix up these slides a little bit. Here is where we were last week. We were in fifth. We were behind Brian, who was in third, and we've jumped up. Like, look at the difference in how close, how much Evan and I have closed the gap with you, Brian. We're 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 making our way back. We're gonna have a little comeback here. I think we're gonna overtake you for uh, third place here. I think we're gonna win next week, Evan. I I don't I don't doubt it at all. How you feeling, Brian? We're feeling hot. We're doing hot in the beginning of the season, man. We we gotta keep it rolling. Um, you know, obviously. We will take him down by the bay. Yeah, <laughs> we will take oh, him down yeah. by the bay, near the bay, all over the bay. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, a little dad joke. It's okay. <laughs> but, yeah, we're going to dominate next week. It's okay. Brian, just take the loss, recoup, and then uh, come back at us later in the season. Ooh, that'll be two losses in a row, Brian. How do you feel about that? 
I don't, I don't believe I have a loss yet. So, I'm, <laughs> you know, honestly, like, oh, we're going to take over. We're still going to be, I'm like, yes. We're taking Game's over the world. Over. <laughs> I'm, off. I'm like, coming back, you know. Weird. Yeah, a little bit. All right. All right. Oh, who is that? I gave, I gave you an easy one. I gave you an easy one this round. Who can get it first? All right. So this guy, you take a look. He still plays. He's still around. Is that Chicago or is that Charlotte? Charlotte. Charlotte. Still around on Charlotte. Still around. Still around. Solid three-point shooter. I don't know who's on Charlotte anymore. Grayson uh, Allen? Are you going with Grayson Allen? All right. No. No? All right. Yeah, I don't think he's on Charlotte. He hasn't been around that long. I can't tell. Oh, he's on Memphis. He's no. on, oh, Memphis. He's Memphis, Memphis yeah. Utah at some point. Ooh, so maybe he might be on Utah. He might be on Utah now. I, I thought I saw him on Memphis at some point. No, Memphis sounds right. Memphis. Or the Bucks. No, he's on the Bucks. He was on Memphis at one point. He's on the Bucks now. Oh. Or vice versa. I know. Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward. It is yeah, Gordon Hayward. That is a great answer. That is Gordon wow. Hayward. Yep. Yeah, because he. I, I just went to the NBA that reference. Is a that is a layup. That, like, that I, was. I, I knew Grayson Allen wasn't it, but I was like envisioning the face in my mind. That's the right era, though. That's the right timeline. Uh, I, I think, thought I thought Grayson Allen was like fifteen. Another. I thought he was like sixteen, seventeen. But I think yeah. those are. I think those are pretty much the same teams that he was on. Nope. Uh, yeah. So Utah, think, Memphis, think Milwaukee. Hayward, wait, Hayward played. Uh, did he play Gonzaga? Ba- Baylor. Nope. Or uh, Butler or Baylor, one of the Butler. Oh, he played on Butler. Butler. But yeah. didn't him and Duke play in the championship that Duke won was, in, like, 2010? Wasn't it, like, twice right. in a row? That, no, because no, that was the one where uh, he had that uh, – they were down two. He had that half-court shot uh, at, the yeah, right at the buzzer. And it just – no, no, he got it off, but it almost banked in. Like, it was – I'm pretty sure that's what it was because it was uh, Zubek and uh, Shire, I think, were on that team. Was it nice. I think so. Yeah, that was a while ago. I think that would have been his Actually, last year. Yeah, you're right. All right. Yeah, you're right. 100% right. Uh yeah, Allen was way later. Yeah, I saw. You guys ever see that meme of Gordon Hayward when he was on Utah, and and it shows a picture of him like it was you know his first year in Utah where he has like that dopey haircut. He looks like all stupid looking, and it says Gordon Hayward went from, uh, yes sir, I'll have him back, I'll have her back by nine. And the bottom picture shows him on uh, Boston, but he has like this slick hair and he looks all hot and everything. It says, and now he looks like, hey, she'll call me daddy too. I love. I think that's one of my favorite pictures of Gordon Hayward. I, I saw a very similar one with uh, Jeremy Lin from when he went to the Knicks to the Charlotte Hornets, I think. Oh yeah, when he had Hornets. when he had like that that mo that not, like mohawk picture. thing. Yeah, that was or wild. Was, uh, the Nets or whatever. Yeah, it was something, something like that. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that 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 sounds about right. Yeah, Gordon Hayward's been killing it this year for them. So anyway, that's that's all that we have for the show. Oh, Brian, you didn't do your name that Knicks. We got the segment. Ah, uh, that's all. Right. I, I send I send right, it to you guys. That's what, said, that's, that, that's what that's what this is called the, the Brian sucks moment. Nice job, Brian. <laughs> Way to ruin the show, man. Awesome, ruin thanks, really, Brian. Really doing great for us. Unreal. Right. You had one job. I that that don't have any more. that that is it. That's all we have. We normally end on name that yeah. and Nick. So <laughs> that's it. Oh man. I should have revised. Yeah, you you could have thrown out thrown out a player or whatever like that. Uh, I can't I can't even think of a game off the top of my head to build up. They celebrated their birthday earlier this week. Are we talking a person or or a team or, or a name or what? Who's the Knicks? Oh, former player from the Knicks. They celebrated the birthday recently. Why? Derek do, Derek Rose. Why do know. people know the player's birthday? I don't know my own like birthday. Real, yeah, like is that a thing? Come Did, on, just no, throw one out there. I said Derek Rose. Former Nick. Uh, former Nick. Um. If, Shumpert. Carmelo Shumpert. Anthony. Shumpert. I don't know. No. Shumpert, <laughs> Shumpert. All right, I'm sorry. All right, he he. I. If you would have, you would have been. If you said glasses, I would have gotten it. <laughs> I, I I yeah yeah. Uh, not birthday, but like how many fire extinguisher uh panels did he break? <laughs> oh, it, it was during it was during the playoffs. He was pissed that they lost a game or whatever. Punched uh like the glasses. You know, break this glass or whatever that had a fire extinguisher in it. He punched that, broke his hand, cut it all up, and couldn't play. Or, or like he had to play with like a like a super like Mega Man uh, infused hand or whatever. It's like it's like all right, thanks, Amari. The one playoff series I've seen in twenty years as a Knicks fan. Thanks, man. <laughs> well, he's another year older. Uh, oh, that's cool. In, ba- in basketball, hey. I. And you named that. <laughs> Yay. I have, I, I have a fun fact about Amari Stoudemire. Him and I have the same diameter waistline of 32. 
He's he's always yeah. been a skinny guy. Like like he was always super fit and everything. Yeah, but isn't he like six foot like six ten? nine, six ten, something like that? Yeah. 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 We have the same waistline, y'all. What you got? You guys can fit in the same pants. <laughs> you guys can go shopping together, clothes shopping, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so you go. <laughs> See, we're like, hey, hey, these Levi's, these Levi's don't look good on me. Here you go, Amari. <laughs> Yo, you know I fit. Oh uh, no, yeah, that'd, that'd be right, weird. We good? Let's we not do that. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> this is this is Are the perfect one. <laughs> no, I don't know. Slides. No. Mm. No. <laughs> oh, anyway. Anyway, this this was a lot more fun. See, I think we should do this little uh, before or after segment a little bit. That makes it a little more fun. And it's going to take me a while because i got to edit. We should do a two-minute after party. Okay. All right. So, so I'll... Can we get another beer before we start the after party? Yes. Well, all, right. all right. Is this the after party? We're going to do it? Nope. We, gotta, we should probably wrap it up and then go to the after party. That's what I'm saying. Wait, we haven't wrapped it up yet? That's what I'm oh, saying. I, We're gonna... <laughs> I thought it was over. <laughs> And then we just leave. Mustache man you? leaves. Hey, Where am I? I don't see you. I just see your guitars. <laughs> yeah. You gonna play for I... us? Yeah. Uh, I'll play the one string at a time, sir. Beep, 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 beep. Yep. <laughs> all right. All right. I'll stop recording. <laughs>